Hey guys, so I'm here today to, well, I'm here today in my pajamas to talk to you guys about my skincare routine that I do for exfoliating and controlling my acne scars. So as you may have been able to tell by the title of this video, it's another episode or video on my acne and how I manage my acne scars how I controlled my acne scars, how I didn't get so many acne scars, and how I fade my acne scars. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing about dealing with acne scars is preventing acne scars. So number one, don't touch your face. We all know this, I know this. It's hard to not do, but just don't touch your face. Don't pop deep pimples. If your pimple is deep under the skin, don't touch it. Number two is what you use at night on your face for a cream. Now this is really important. You may think, oh, why would I put cream on my face if I have acne problems? You have to do it. It's the most important thing. Your skin cells get damaged, they get irritated, and they get angry and aggravated when you have acne. Then you get acne scars. If you touch your face, your skin cells are broken, they're damaged, and they're hurting. You need to treat them with care. So here is my holy grail item for dealing with tough acne prone skin that is also prone to acne scars and that is using my La Roche Posay Cicaplast Balm B5 Cream. Now this may seem interesting because if you know the La Roche Posay line this is kind of more of a body cream and a healing cream for wounds. But I like to use this as a night cream on my face because it has skin repair properties, it's antibacterial and it is an excellent deep hydrator and moisturizer for the skin. So this works amazingly, especially if you have acne prone skin that's sensitive and that also is dry or irritated. This all around just heals your face. Because of the ingredients that are in this, I can't read this because this is the Korean packaging, but I'll link it down below. Because of the ingredients that are in this, it really does help to repair your skin cells on your face and help prevent future acne because of the antibacterial properties and it just moisturizes your skin so it's not peeling or flaking because it's dry and it helps get rid of irritation and redness. This overall is just the perfect cream for any acne sufferer who gets scarred easily or gets dry skin easily or irritations. So now I want to talk about what I do to get rid of acne scars that I already have. So that's all about different types of exfoliating. So for me I have to do two types of exfoliating. I have to do physical exfoliation and chemical exfoliation because my skin is tough and angry all the time. I have two items that I use for physical exfoliation. The first one is my black sugar scrub from Claire's. Now this is a basic general black sugar scrub except this black sugar scrub is incorporated with a lot of good natural ingredients and oils so it's not just black sugar, honey, and olive oil like you see on here for DIYs all the time. This contains shea butter, black sugar, cranberry seed oil. It also has I think jojoba oil in it and other great properties and I also use it along with the new Claire's deep cleanse oil and these two together I actually use at nighttime especially when I get home from work because it works amazing at removing your makeup like it literally melts makeup off your face plus you get a deep exfoliation so it gets rid of blackheads and any dead skin cells on your face and you, when you rinse your face it's just like pure magic like pure magic. I've been using this for the past two or three months to kind of keep my skin exfoliated so I don't get any dead skin cell buildup and to help fade my scars from my acne situation that I had when I first came here. The next type of physical exfoliation that I do is kind of regularly. I do this about three times to four times a week every time that I cleanse my face, maybe even more five times a week. I use my Vita Goods um, cleansing brush and this is the exfoliating head. And I use this regularly because my skin needs to be exfoliated regularly because that is my skin. It just needs to be exfoliated regularly or else I get a lot of tiny pimples and a lot of blackheads. So if I'm not exfoliating all the time, I get bad breakouts, my skin is angry and looks ugly and my scars don't fade that faster. So I use this all the time and I also use the black sugar scrub maybe about three times a week and then I use this almost every night and this really helps to just kind of erase any dead skin cell buildup that I'm getting or it helps to really help prevent the blackheads from generating faster so I really like to use this as regularly as possible on my face to help keep my skin happy and clear and to help fade my scars better. Okay, so now we're moving on to chemical exfoliation and this is where things can get pretty tricky for us, especially if you have sensitive skin. 
For me, my skin's really sensitive and I can't use many products. However, I did train myself to get used to a product a year ago, and this is the Reversa Anti-Spot Night Care 8% Glycolic Acid. Now, the 8% Glycolic Acid is the key ingredient in this skincare item because it is what is exfoliating your skin at night. It is what increases the cell turnover rate of your skin, making your scars lift out of your face faster. Now, the problem with this, though, is that if you've never used a glycolic acid product before, you're going to feel it, you're going to get irritated, you might even break out from it because it's lifting so many impurities and skin cells from your skin. So this is a product that takes time for your skin to adjust to. It took me two months for my skin to be happy with using this product. I would get hives randomly. I would get breakouts randomly. I had to dilute it with my moisturizer so I could start using it. But I stuck with it. I was dedicated and now this is a holy grail ingredient that I need in my skincare routine to fade my acne scars fast. Now I was using this last year originally and in six months all my scars were pretty much faded to almost nothing. So I am using this again and I'm using it sparingly maybe once a week at night only and it really does like you wake up in the morning and you can tell that something is looking better on your face. Like it overall is brighter, you feel like your scars have faded and it really is just a key item to have. This product is limited I think to Canada at Shoppers Drug Marts in the beauty boutique. Um, it runs maybe $40, but it's lasted me a year, like this has lasted me a year. I still have just a little bit left in it, so I might have to find a new product soon. But basically, you can use anything as long as it has an 8% glycolic acid in it, then you're good to go, because that is the key ingredient. The rest of the stuff in here is just like plant extracts and garbage. But otherwise, glycolic acid is one of the key items that I need in my skincare routine to help fade my acne scars really fast. Like, you notice a difference. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, so that literally is it. That is my scar care routine. Literally, it's all about everything you use. It's not just exfoliation. You gotta also prevent the acne scars, which is the key, key thing, because if you don't, if you're preventing them, you're not getting them, then you don't have to try to get rid of them. <laughs> so those are the products that I swear by. I'll link them all in the description box down below for you guys. I'll also do a blog post to go with this video so I can give you more detailed information on all the products I use to treat my acne scars and have been using to make sure that my skin is looking good after the infestation of acne I had when I first came here. So otherwise that's it for this video. If you guys want to see more acne related videos then like this video and also subscribe to see more. You can also check out previous videos at the end of this clip of acne videos that I did stuff. <laughs> Otherwise, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So today I'm going to show you guys how to cover up acne without looking cakey and without wearing a ton of makeup. So as you can see on both my cheeks I have horrible skin but here my skin looks absolutely perfect. So I'm going to show you guys how to get perfect flawless looking skin that doesn't look cakey on my acne story. So this is kind of a long story so I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible so that you guys can all know what's going on with my skin, why I have such bad acne, and why I didn't have acne in my older videos and suddenly I have it now. When I first started YouTube about maybe three years ago,